Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, how to do Sharpie tattoos um, with a focus on what kind of lettering to use. So if you just Google tattoo fonts, tattoo lettering, and just hit images, you'll find all of these. These are just two pretty standard types, um, like old school 1950s looking uh, tattoo letters and the kind of hardcore gothic old English looking one, uppercase, lowercase. So the best thing you can do is print out a sheet like these and if you're in school, just take them with you to school and doodle these um, during class. If you're an artist, um, you know that it's completely fine to doodle during class because you're still listening. You're just using the other part of your brain to Stay awake. So, um, so that's the best thing to do is just um, download uh, one of these, print it out, and just go through and start, uh, you know, testing out the letters. My sharpie doesn't work uh, in class or or wherever you are, and you can put put your own spin on them too. Um, you know, they don't have to be exactly like you do it. But what you want to do is get to the point where you can kind of memorize um, what the different um, you know, letters and styles are. I do have, this is my like partially, uh, you know, dead Sharpie marker. And I'll tell you why when we actually get to doing the Sharpie part of it. But um, the best thing you can do, get a printout sheet and just practice, practice, practice on your school binders or wherever you are. Eventually you will memorize them and then you will be the coolest kid in school because anybody during lunch or at the gym or what have you be like, whoa, super awesome tattoo and you can just freehand draw it right on your arm. So here's the materials that you're gonna need in your standard Sharpie tattoo kit. First, brand new fine point Sharpie. And when I say fine point, it's, it's this point right here. Um, the kind of standard um, Sharpie that everybody has in school. Um, the other kind is the ultra fine point Sharpie, which is like this. And uh, the ultra fine point Sharpie has a smaller tip, but be aware, this one turns out a little more brown uh, in the actual ink than the regular Sharpie does. So if you're combining them, just be aware it's not a completely uniform color tone on your skin. I also like to have another Sharpie that's mostly worn out and I'll scribble over the, the back of it to indicate that this is a mostly dead Sharpie, but sometimes for smudging and for um, shading, I actually want one that's mostly dead. If you have a whole box of brand new Sharpies, just um, scribble this one a lot and leave the cap off overnight. And then when you put it back on, um, you know, for the next uh, couple days, it should be a, a lot more, um, you know, worn and faded. So you can use that for your shading. So the first thing you're going to want to do, let's say we're going to do um, a tattoo here, and we'll just do uh, we'll do JB for my name. Um, so what I'm going to do is go over here and find the letter J. This is the letter J, boys and girls. So that's J, that's B. So we're going to go ahead and take my cheap um, Bic one and just kind of outline a little bit. Where is this going to go? So um, the first one I'm going to put maybe like here, like that. And I'll, um, I'll hint a little bit at, uh, at where it's going to go, like this. And this will come around like that. And a lot of these lines are are ones that you all through, you know, like muscle memory, you'll remember how these go. Um, so the first couple times you're going to do it, it's going to be really hard. And this I'm just doing guidelines. I, you know, I've gotten to the point where I don't really need to do guidelines so much, but um, I'm going to do it here because I think it's a good, it's a good practice, uh, you know, to just indicate a little bit. Now you're going to go over this with our Sharpie. And when we do with the brand new Sharpie, you know, you're committed, um, you know, so just be aware that you're, once you're in it um, with your big Sharpie, you're in it. There's no erase in that sucker, just like real tattoos, sort of, except these come off in the shower. Um, all right. So I've got a little bit of an indication. There's my J. It's kind of cool. Maybe bring that out a little bit more. All right, so that's my J. And then my B is gonna go under that. But let's just do the J, so if you're already bored, um, just keep this moving, all right? So I've got my main Sharpie. I'm gonna test it and just make sure, yeah, look at that. That is a sharp tip. Now when you first use Uncap a Sharpie, it's gonna wanna bleed a little bit because the nib is gonna be so moist. So I like to maybe just do a couple lines off paper um, just to get the initial moisture out of there. All right, so here we go. I'm going to just start like that. All right, there's J part. And then I'm going to bring this up and down. All right, I'm going to come. 
come back to that. And then this part here, if you've had like 10 cups of coffee, this is gonna be a little more difficult because you really gotta keep your hand. You can see already it's good, it's doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of bleeding there, but that's okay. It's not real blood. And then um, you can see from my initial sketch, I was actually pretty pretty far off. So I'm gonna bring this around like that. All right, so there's my J to my J. Looks pretty close. Um, so now I'm, I can see that I've got a good thing going here. I'm gonna go over it a second time. And if you're in a hurry, you can just fill it on in, fill it in the whole way. But um, I'm just gonna go over it with a thicker line like this. Don't worry, you will mess up. Um, just be aware that you can just play with it, fix it. The sort of smudgy bleeding look that it's doing will actually make it look like it's been a tattoo that's been on you for quite a while. Um, but if you've already drawn with your tattoo for like 30 minutes, um, it won't be as bleedy. All right, so there's my J. Um, if I actually had a, uh, a thick point Sharpie, I would want to use that for some of the smudging, but here's what you want to do if you want to um, smudge that. I'll put a little bit right here, and then I'll just do that. See how I did that? Put a little dab, smudge it down. You seeing that? So put a little dab, smudge it up. Same here. All right, so now it's getting this cool like 3D look. Um, your hands are going to be kind of gross, so be aware. But we're getting a cool, we're getting a cool effect here with the smudging. Um, so that's the J. Um, it looks pretty close to this. Um, you know, J is a weird letter to do in the gothic form, but let's go ahead and do B. B is a super cool looking hardcore letter. So um, I'm going to try to keep it pretty much to the same. Oh, man. By the way, you don't want to wash your arm right before this, but you don't also want to just draw it on you because your greasy, nasty human goo from the whole day is going to be, uh, you know, difficult for the um, for the paint for the marker to stick to. So sometimes what I'll do is, um, you know, go ahead and wash your hand, but then wait or wash wherever you're going to do it, but then wait like um, you know 20 minutes. Just make sure it's it's dry. All right, so I'm bringing this round. Man, B is a is a tough one. I'm uh, this gonna be this gonna be a slightly more difficult one. But you can see it's utilizing the same shapes as the other one. So once you sort of understand the basic shapes in the font set that you're using, um, it'll be it'll be easier. So I'm bringing this down. I'm scribbling it over here to keep my mark my uh pen flowing because it's even having a hard time you know drawing on my on my skin got a little line there so what I'm not trying to necessarily replicate the entire um, design but what I am trying to do is get the basic parameters and boundaries down and then I'll do those um, cool line things at the very end so now we're going to do this part here Bring this up. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about it. It does look pretty real, by the way. I mean, when you do these with a the sharp, you get it right. Take your time with those lines. Um, it's going to look pretty convincing. Um, by the way, the trick with the shower is either don't get it wet or cover it up, and be aware that if you sleep on it, it'll get on your sheets. But um, you can do a touch up on it and it'll still last a couple more days. All right, so we've got our basic outline. I'm going to go ahead in with my um, main Sharpie now and uh, add some of these. So you'll be able to do this a lot faster once you get the hang of it. So you can already see we're, we're moving a little quicker. Doing the straight lines is, is pretty tough, but... Um, I have no doubt that you too can master the art of Sharpie tattoos. Okay. All right. So we're moving pretty quick. Just one little section to go. All right. 
right, now I've got that part done before. You can tell it's a little bigger than the other one. So I might go back and just kind of fake this a little bit more on my first one because they're not entirely the same, but um, the J and the B are different, uh, you know, different letters. They have a little bit more going on. Now this is part, this is where like you really got to get it right the first time because you don't want to have to go over these detail lines but uh, just nailed it. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and do my shading. So I do a little strip, smudge it, do a little strip, smudge it, a little dot, smudge, smudge. So you can see it's really coming to life here. Bring that around, fade that up, this way, this way, and just a couple more here. Bam. There you go. So that's the JB Tattoo. I'm gonna bring it in for a close up here so you can see. Again, most of the burden is on the Sharpie fine point and, and the technique. It's not completely um, magical, but let's take a closer look and uh, see what we're getting here. So with, uh, with your Sharpie, a little practice, uh, this is what we got today. And definitely from a distance, it is completely real looking. Um, that smudge is really something you'll have to practice. Um, that can be that can be tough, but you know, from way over here, uh, looks like a legit hardcore lettering tattoo. So that's all for today. See ya.